guys, we got the uh, Wookie Dave San Diego bars here. He's at. He's recording. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so good. Yeah, with, with my. Hey guys. I'll be in here pushing buttons. All right. Today we got Zex 2020 Street Bob. We're gonna be putting some Lucky Dave's San Diego bars on. He also bought the, the mount from Lucky Dave's to uh, get his speedometer dash. We got all our tools laid out, some Allens, electric ratchet, normal ratchet. Just all the tools we need, we're also going to be internally wiring. So we got some uh, pull line, some lube. Yeah, let's get started on it. I'm nervous about this one. <laughs> Never done this before. Hold on. Oh, we're live. Okay. Uh, start by taking off the fairing, which Zach uh, so anxiously already started. So we'll just take that thing right on off. Yes, we'll start with taking off the clutch and the brake, getting those hanging down, remove the zip ties, and uh, then we'll take the actual bar and clamp off. It's not right. It's flashing red? Oh, there it goes. It's supposed to flash red? Yeah, you're good. So just a key thing when you're doing anything with bars or just anything with a lot of hardware, you just want to make sure you lay everything out nice and make sure it's very organized so that way you can always make sure you have the right bolts for the right pieces and the right parts and where they're going. But BJ's fairly good about that, so I think we should be good. Not that I was ever concerned as it was anyway. So with the new soft tails, you got this rubber grommet that houses all this wiring. It's got your USB plug in it. You just want to pull that back so you can access all the wires and so you can unplug and then take the wires out of the bar so you can then internally wire the new ones. What did we run into? There's a plug that's under the tank in the back. Oh, like actually under, under? I don't know how far. Perfect, it's full of gas too. <laughs> All right, so looks like BJ followed a wire that ran under the tank, under the tunnel. We're just gonna lift it up, make sure we can find it and unplug that so we can pull the wires out of the bars. <laughs> oh, it's a f***ing heated grip. You don't even need it. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. There's still one more, but... Is there a zip tie they're holding it all in? Yeah. Woo! Okay. That's it. Almost got myself. Close. Could have been worse.
I've, I've done this before, I don't know why I didn't win the first time. Alright, so mistake number one of the day. Oh. <laughs> mistake! Oh my god! Uh, leave the bars on before you take the risers off. It makes it very much easier. Fucking guy. Fucking whatever. Dude, you should just bob this thing out. What do you think? No. Alright, Bill. What? Bill! Alright, hang on to that. Come on, baby girl. Mistake. We just blew up the motor. Big mistake. Work smarter, not harder. Oh, yeah. Lift the bars right up at mm -hmm. the scissors. Yeah. Mm hmm. Also, a little shameless plug. You ever get sick and tired of seeing chrome forks? We got these. Fork cover caps that we make in black as well as a steering stem cap. And then we got some axle nut covers for both sides. Got pivot bolt covers. If you need anything, just, just why, don't you, why don't you just hit us up? That's how much I'm charging you. Mm. I'll get the Venmo request. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's that side? It's insane to me. Some guy's like, you think I could do it myself on the forums? I'm like, I'm, I'm definitely doing it myself. I'm, I'm figuring it out. So actually, like, I'll figure it out. I'm, yeah, BJ, figure it out. Yeah, I got my guy right here. Got our head mechanic over head here. Head mechanic. I'm gonna use my brand new vice that I got hooked up over here. How about that? <clears throat> Don't scratch those apes, buddy. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's dying to buy these things. But if anybody wants to buy them, <laughs> hit us up and we'll gladly sell them. Also another plug, they make these cool coasters. Some of these Harley coasters. Well we definitely don't sell them. We don't sell them, but we make them. Check us out, I'm verse. Are you relocating those, or are you going to put them back to the box? Well, I don't think we have the means of doing that, do we? No, it's only an eBay buy away. It is. But, whatever you want, sweet pea. Don't, don't switch those up. One's for one side, one's for the other. Right, this is right side. Right? Yes. So like if I switched them up when I went from my right blinker on my left blinker would turn on? Naturally. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. Don't use them anyways. Same with the brakes. Seriously, I never rarely use my, my signal. I'm usually through the turn and I'm like, fuck. 
You're that guy. They're like, fing guy doesn't ever use. You don't use them that often either, there, pal. <laughs> No, I'm usually behind you. I can see that those kind of things. Oh. Check it. Yeah, that's that. This is Stock. the throttle for the race side. Oh, I know that. I mean. Oh. Hi, Christina Tolamo here with the weather. Just kidding. Okay. You guys that watch News Channel 13 got it. Put the nut on the 550 cord string. Feed it down through. The nut's too big. <laughs> Might need a smaller nut. Oh, that's a pain. All right. Note to self: Don't use flange nuts. Yeah, I gotta figure out something else. <laughs> nuts. Find something that will actually fit through the hole and then do the same thing again. <laughs> Whoops. This one's not exactly ideal for weight. But it should do. <laughs> Plugs, boy. Taking out the rubber gaskets before they get lost in the barn, forever gone. Probably good call. Very good call. This guy's smarter than he looks, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You know. I'll just I'll just go start cutting wires in the nail. You don't need that one. How do we know we didn't need this one? Uh, I saw it we on don't YouTube. ride in saw the it on, Saw it on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. I've got heated grips on mine, so. <laughs> yeah, for all for all that winter riding you do. Oh. Studs the tires. There's people who do it. Yeah. I see it in the forums every winter. Big form guy. Well, well. Forums, Facebook pages, whatever you want to call them. Alright, now you're mad. Pissed. You gonna hang out of the thing or? Well, I'm, I'm trying to give you enough slack to move uh. it, but also hold on to it. Uh huh. The 2011s, look at that angle. And now you got it. I knew you didn't get it at first. <laughs> Yeah? Could you explain it to YouTube? Explain what to YouTube? I don't know. Whatever you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Clearly. You know what I'm talking That's about. That's weird. <laughs> he ain't got a clue what he's talking about. Imagine that. Wow. <laughs> uh, you hang out of that with that arm. Mm -hmm. Right down here. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can see why people don't internally wire them. And then it looks terrible when I, you're not I, internally I wired. <laughs> shout out to all the non-internally wired bar bros. Yeah, shout out. All right, so one main thing for you uh, club style bros. I've uh, eliminated the directional off of this, and we're going to put them on the bottom of the forks down there. And then one thing that you're going to want to remember when you... Uh, put on the throttle is this brown rubber gasket. When you push it in, you're gonna wanna make sure it doesn't roll up on itself because your throttle won't respond correctly. And also you're gonna wanna be mindful when you're pulling your stuff that you actually don't pull any wires out here because that'll mess up your entire throttle. We got no content. All right, left side's on, right side's on. Left side was super easy, it took about four seconds. 
Right side, of course, was a pain in the ass, but uh, made it through. Uh, directional relocations on the way, because uh, you know I don't I don't wire those through the bars clearly. Um, also, this plug for everybody that's wondering, this is for your heated grips that nobody runs in upstate New York because we don't ride in that cold of weather. Uh, just cut it off because it's just in the way. Another plug that you're not going to use. Hey, hey buddy, thanks hey. for joining us. Hey, business calls. Not as easy as pushing a button anymore now, is it, kid? No. What's up? What's up? How'd it go? It's going uh, okay. We, we said, um. No directionals? We said, screw that. I'm gonna order them. I found them on eBay for $14. What kind are they? Oh, yeah, there you go. eBay? And they'll be here on the April 27th, so that's a week and a half, so. Did you buy them? No. Not yet. I'm gonna order them after. That's how this install has me feeling. Alright. It's been tough on me, man. Really? What? I don't know. I didn't look at them. Alright. Live. All right, so we have the uh, stock top clamp, and Zach went ahead and bought the I think Lucky Dave's, right? Yep. The Lucky Dave's top clamp. So you just got some torques, four torques in here. You got to remove, then this whole thing should come out. And then I think reuse those or put those through. I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get there. I think you just use the new ones, and then it. But we'll see. Probably a little silicone. Nope, just a gasket on the other side. Those come out. I'm pretty sure we lose those. Push those to the side. You get a little weight reduction, I can tell you that. Yep. And we'll see how this. Oh, yeah, slides my. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Little gasket push there. Sure, let me get this thing looking nice. Gasket's tight. Toy. A little bit of lube from the gasket, yeah. Not bad. There we go. So comes with a gasket obviously from Harley. You can see the lube right there. You just gotta be careful when you push it in that you don't pinch the gasket or twist it so it looks like shit. Put your wire through. The way that monster gets cranked around here, I'm thinking about going to uh, BJ's here soon. I'm gonna check and see like how much like a case of it is. It's usually like way cheaper than fucking. Also, monster, if you want to sponsor us, yeah. hit us up. We'll leave our email down below. Yeah, please. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> Remember, I was always a big Red Bull guy, and then. I mean, even if you want to give us the low carb, we'll take it. I mean, yeah, I know. Any sort of discount? <laughs> whatever you got, we'll <laughs> take it. Please. <laughs> so that's it, right there. <laughs> so like that. Come on over to the bike, and I'm pretty sure you can. You can put it wherever, wherever you want. Wherever you want. Yeah. You just gotta watch out for the the wires that run. Yeah, I think. Uh, that's probably your best bet right there. Nice and low. Yeah, you want it as low as possible, obviously. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. That looks really good. Better than... You can do this if you get a soft tail. Yeah, better than better than huh? mine when it's on the back side of it. Yeah. Trash. Alright. Feed your wire through. You don't need that. Mexico. America. This is an Harley Davidson. Here, hold this wheel. For you. 
Oh, covered shoulder. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, I mean. And also, if I wasn't going to soft tail, tail would have a dash on the tank. Not oh, so he's getting the. Oh, he's getting, he's getting a low rider. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, fuck a street bomb, I'm getting a low rider. I ain't cheaping out. Kidding me, kid? That's it. Obviously, I'm not going to tighten it down too much yet. I want to make sure everything's good with the wiring, plug all the wiring in, make sure it all works, and then uh, go from there. Just to preface, guys, I mean, this mount is a little pricey. I think it was $180, you know, obviously for a piece of metal that is it's quite a bit. But, I mean, in my opinion, I think it's worth every penny. I mean, rather than having it look all bunk, it gives it a nice, clean look. You know, it looks like it's meant to be there, so... I definitely would recommend spending the extra couple hundred bucks to do it. All the wires plugged in, fired up, make sure everything works. Uh, hmm. Broken. Well, that means that it was plugged in the wrong spot. So, my 50 50 was wrong. Got it. Hold on. Make sure I'm started. For the directionals. Yeah. You can, we can just clear that though. What do you fun. mean? You can go through the. And it won't come back, huh? No. We'll probably you, can, you can clear it right on there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can on ours with the trip. It's probably the same way. Yeah. Right, just to look up the one YouTube video we always look at to see how to get to the. Yeah, because I'd like to have that clear. So well, yeah. If you want to smash my head against the <laughs> I don't know how tight I should go. Zach doing his own bike work. <laughs> be like that. Those let me see. Like those TikToks. It's like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. It's aluminum, so don't go crazy. Rather lose a bolt than f and break the thing. Record me doing something that I never do. Uh, let's see if I can do it. For a shot. <clears throat> Try not. really good. Next thing he needs is the plex behind the fairing. Yeah. Plenty of room. You'll see how they feel. I might eventually do risers, but for right now. Alright, let's lower it, and then I'll get the, the everything where you want it. I'm going to put the kick in the end up. Big difference? So different. Because yeah, I feel like my hands were here before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it literally makes it feel like we're like with a wheelbarrow. Team. So the next step in this is just getting at all the controls right where Zach wants them, so where it feels comfortable. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now.
How's it feel? Good. I mean, I feel way more confident. I can tell you that. It's just, you feel like you have a lot of control. Your hands are in a much better position. Um, I would definitely suggest them. Super good. We're going to do poly, uh, let me take this off. We're going to do poly bushings because there is a little bit of play, nothing crazy. So we're going to do that eventually. But I mean, for now, it's golden. All right, guys, I'm sure you guys are all curious how much they cost. So literally, here's my order from Lucky Dave's. Bars themselves, $290, not bad, honestly. $180, bucks, like I was saying earlier, for that mount. A little pricey, but worth it. I mean, you're buying a expensive Harley. You want it to look good. So You got to account for the, uh, you know, work done to it, labor. Yeah. So I'll hit him with that after this video. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly guys, I'm not super mechanically inclined, but BJ is. I would at least try to do it yourself. A lot of people pay like dealers to do it, other places to do it. I mean, that's up to you. I would try to do it yourself at least. It's not super hard, especially if you decide to not internally wire them, then it's really easy. So, all right guys, catch you next time. <laughs>